Hello seekers, welcome to Panis Astrology, your one stop astro channel. Continuing with the moon transit. Moon will make its move in the sign of Capricorn late in the night on 26th of March. And it will continue till the late night. In fact, after midnight of 28th of March, effectively 29th of March. When moon will be entering this Capricorn zodiac sign once again, it will find Saturn, Venus and Mars at the further end of Capricorn zodiac sign. Mars, Venus and Saturn are together and this time Venus is closer to Saturn than it is closer to Mars. Now if you observe for Capricorn, Cancer rules the 7th house. The Kark Rashi is the house of marriage and emotions. And this relationship gets affected when Moon enters the Makara Rashi, the Capricorn zodiac sign. You also have Sun and Mercury in the third house and Jupiter in Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra in the second house, in the house of Aquarius. This is the time when initially you will feel enthusiastic. You will feel that you would, you can do, the possibilities are there and you will have assumptions in mind. But as moon progresses, as 29th March comes into picture, as the day passes, moon meets reality more. This can hurt you. This can hurt your sentiments. Also, your anger and your possessiveness can create problems in relationships. It can break friendships. So be honest, be truthful and try to understand the position of the other person. Sun and Mercury in the third house with a debilitated Mercury also shows that ego can be conveyed unconsciously. You think that you are not saying anything wrong, but actually you may hurt somebody unintentionally. So be careful of those energies. When you have Jupiter in the second house and in Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra, your words can make or break situation. So before committing anything, be very careful. Although this is not a negative transit, but this is a transit where your mind will be affected by three different type of forces. Once again, Venus is hemmed between Saturn and Mars. Venus is in Papkartari Yoga and this can impact the decision-making process. In order to be more comfortable, you might try to blend in and in order to blend in and become comfortable with friends, you may choose to do things, you may, you may choose to take some certain actions that is not so appropriate. So apply the wit, apply the knowledge, apply the wisdom here. Jupiterian wisdom aspecting 6th and the 8th house will protect you, but only if you are following the path of Dharma. It can also increase your expenses and you may have a certain desire developed, developing in your mind that may end up spending more than necessary. So be careful. When you are trying to buy luxury product, when you are trying to buy anything, when you are going out for shopping, restrain the, yourself from unnecessary expenses, especially if the expense is on credit card. If you are taking a loan, be alert, be careful. Now because Rahu will be influencing this moon, especially as soon as moon enters the Capricorn zodiac sign, the degree of moon will be less than 1 degree and Rahu is also less than 1 degree but in Taurus zodiac sign. So the aspect of Rahu on Moon will be strongest on 26th night and 27th morning. So when you are going for a party, when you are going to enjoy life, when you are going to plan something at the on the night of 26th, and this is Indian Standard Time, so this time will change depending upon what location you are. You can convert the time using some calcul time and date calculator. But as per Indian Time, on the night of 26th, do not take any major decisions. Don't be impulsive because impulsive energies will only tend to chaos and you have to differentiate between illusion and reality. Initially mind will believe in so many things but soon you will get to know the truth and the truth can hurt you. 
this transit can create irreparable damage to to the relationships to the emotions so when you are speaking speak with diplomacy humbleness and you if you have to express yourself first create a structure in your brain what you are trying to say sometimes speaking your heart out in a positive manner will also work for you but then you will have to see that you should not flow in emotions and don't spill more than necessary too much too soon will be the theme of this transit and this is a bad attitude a small attitude change while moon is transiting this capricorn zodiac sign and following the path of saturn will help you in a long way chanting ram mantra hare ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare reading ram charit manas ramayana chanting hanuman chalisa having some devotional feeling towards god is going to be helpful in controlling the emotions also because this is a karmic zodiac sign try to do some good karma mars saturn and venus means helping people who are trying to provide comfort to their families that means people who are struggling daily workers laborers daily wage workers see if you can help them see if you can buy something from them sometimes it is a good karma because you are helping them run their family small help walks great distances so this is a transit where lot of emotions on actions will be there you would want to do so many things but lethargy can stop you also on one hand you want to reach the skies but on the other hand you also don't want to leave the comfort zone this two things will not go hand in hand so you will have to somehow find a middle ground avoid lethargy avoid procrastination and start doing things yes in a structured manner but now is the time of action so guys that was a quick take on the moon transit in the sign of capricorn i hope you like this video and if you like please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update follow me on instagram for reels and interesting stuff and to get notifications in case you don't get notified by the youtube you can follow me on telegram where i upload where i upload links to all platforms and also for consultations please drop me an email we'll meet you in the next video till then this is your host puneet namaste